What is up everybody? I hope this video finds you doing extremely well. I consider myself very, very lucky to be self-employed, right? As a gym owner, I can make my own schedule, really work with who I want to work with. There's a lot of perks, but there's also a ton of trials. So it's January in Ohio. If you can see here, my widget is saying that it's negative five degrees Fahrenheit and that's the real temperature. Over the past couple of weeks, I've had a slew of heat issues, especially at the worst time of the year. So I wanna take y'all out to the gym and show you what's been going on. So right now in Ohio, it's that type of cold where you walk outside and your nostrils just start freezing. Luckily, we got a, a warm winter coat because that is very essential. And we do have heat now, that is the plus. So I wanna show y'all exactly what's going down and it starts outside. So as you can see right here, that's typically where my propane tank sits that I heat the gym with. And I'm gonna flip you all around and show you the specific issue. As you can see, this is the line, or what was the line, that carries the propane fuel from the tank into my gym's furnace. Now we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna check out the furnace, show y'all what's up. So first and foremost, I wanna show y'all what this line looks like from outside to in in the gym. It's a little dark in here, so bear with me. But right here, we have the line that goes right to this furnace. And this is an older furnace, it's a red furnace, but it does a great job still. Really happy with the way it performs when it's working. So inside the furnace, I won't really be able to show you, but there are burners. Everybody knows that, right? You gotta have burners to get heat. Now, essentially what went down is uh, I had a client coming in at 7 a.m., you know, super early and cold out here in Ohio. And usually I go out about 15 minutes early, flip on the heat, go back inside, get everything I need, and then I'll go back out 10 minutes later. It's nice and warm and I set up for the workout. However, this time I come back out and it's still freezing cold. So, you know, I'm messing with the heat. It doesn't pop on. It's embarrassing, you have to cancel for your client, so on and so forth. I get a repairman out here, and essentially what he deems happened is that the old burners, which I have right here in my hand, as you can see, it's kind of beat up, rusted out. There's a ton of things that can happen with these burners. So one, bugs in the winter will crawl up in there, make a nest, which can jam the flow of propane fuel into the burners. And then two, propane is a liquid. Um, however, when it's transferring in the line to the burners, that liquid gets so cold that it can condensate and cause rust. You know, rust happens when you have liquid that doesn't burn up. So these are rusted out. He cleaned them off, uh, wire brushed them, tapped them out. We thought we were good to go because he left and the furnace was burning just as good as it ever did. However, I had the same issue the next week and he came back and deemed that I just need new burners, right? So we're good to go. I got these new burners. Furnace is working pretty well. However, I then had an issue, as you can see with that line before, where there was a hole in the line. So propane runs through copper line. You can't really run it through much else, uh, legally or safely, I believe. So, uh, you know, I was pretty much out of luck until I could get a, a plumber to come out and run this new line. Luckily, that's happening today. I'm having a plumber come out, run me a new line, and we will be back in business. It's not necessarily difficult to run a copper line to a furnace, but there is a lot of liability involved. If you mess up, it could result in propane leaks, which it won't kill you, but it's not good for you. However, if there's propane leaking and a flame hits that propane, you're done for. <laughs> so I wanna show you about the temporary solution that I've come up with to train my clients. Uh, maybe if you have this issue in your garage gym, in your home gym, or if you just wanna stick around and hear about what I got going on, this is my solution. So guys, what I did is bring my 100 pound propane tank in, uh, inside. Here we got a line running it to a portable heater. This is the heater right here, it does 150,000 BTUs, I believe, which gets this place toasty. So essentially all you have to do to run a heater like this, it's extremely simple. You can use this in your garage gym, you could use this in your shop, whatever you might do. Um, you need an extension cord to power the heat, right? So I got a cord for the fan, which then blows the heat out. And then we have that line connecting the tank to the heater to provide with fuel. So we're gonna pop back over here real quick 
It's a little uh, cramped back in here with all this stuff. We're just gonna turn this on a little bit. You don't need to open it up extremely high. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like heated up. Guys, let me tell you what, that heater does a great job of heating this shop. It's a decently sized gym. As you can see, if you haven't seen the gym before, I'm gonna flip the lights on, give you a quick pan of the gym. We have a decent sized space here, but this heater truly does the job in a temporary way. The only downside to a heater like this is you do need a good source of ventilation. So when my clients are in here working out or if I'm training in here personally, I'm gonna crack all these windows ever so slightly so I can get airflow. And then also I set up fans in these windows so that I can get good airflow throughout the workout. Uh, some of the things that might happen if you're exposed to propane for too long is your eyes will start to water, your throat can get kind of dry, and even people get headaches, that's never happened to me and I've been out here for hours on end. But those are just some of the things that can happen. So you definitely have to be smart with it. I'm gonna flip this off so I don't have to yell. And guys, just even in the few minutes that that heater was on, this place is already warmed up to a good degree. This thing will do the trick. However, it's just not the most practical for when you're training clients. So it does take up floor space, unfortunately, and it is pretty loud, so you can't really have a great connection with your client when you're training them. I'm really looking forward to getting my old furnace up and running once again. Well guys, funny story and good news. As I was filming that, I got a call from the plumber. He's on his way out now. Told him the dimensions of the copper line that he needs to pick up. So hopefully we get this issue resolved and good to go by today. Really looking forward to having that heater back. Headed out back to the furnace. This will be the true test. Another thing we realized after the technician left is that our regulator, which is this piece right here, was bad. Be quiet. So went and purchased a new regulator. Basically what the regulator does is moderate the flow of propane to the furnace. So here you can see a shiny new copper line. Essentially all I have to do is attach my regulator to this line and then to the tank and we'll be good to go. Our regulator is now on the line in the tank. I'm gonna turn on the propane, get some fuel flowing through that line. We're gonna go test this bad boy, so let's hope we have heat. Just kicked on the furnace, as you can tell, this one is much, much quieter than that portable propane heater. This thing takes a little bit of time to boot up and then the igniter is just turning on now, so this is the true test. It feels good to have heat in here. Finally, we won't be leaking gas because we have a good regulator. Gonna get this thing set up and I'm gonna hit a leg day session out here in the warmth. Well guys, it feels really good to have this furnace working once again. I do appreciate y'all for watching. Stick around for my talk about perseverance in business and I'll catch y'all soon. Alrighty guys, chilling here in the living room next to the fire, so we're absolutely thriving but I'm gonna set you down and give some of my thoughts about this situation as a whole. Man, it's been going on for about three weeks and those three weeks were very, very frustrating. I was almost at my wits end with this issue, guys. It's been going on for about three weeks. You think you're good to go, you think everything's squared away, but lo and behold, something else pops up and it's just tough to have to tell people, you know, schedule clients, tell them to come through and then it doesn't actually pan out. And luckily guys, I didn't have to pay for all the maintenance on the furnace, but losing out on revenue from not being able to train people, uh, it just it's just tough, you know, it's, a, it's not a great feeling. I'm the type of person and trainer that I definitely want to have my clients come through for workouts because they have goals and I'm invested in their goals. I wanna make it happen and I feel like I'm kinda letting them down when my heat goes out and they can't come through. I'm so glad that everybody's been extremely understanding and nice about this situation. Uh, things do happen. At the end of the day, as a business owner, it's extremely frustrating, but it's extremely important to be solution oriented and not have that victim mindset, right? My first thought was, man, shit. I can't train anybody, but 
there's ways around that, right? We rented the heater and that's been working well. And then just thinking like, you know, what do I have to do to get this furnace back up? Who do I have to call? Who's gonna help me understand what I have to do? I was making tons of calls throughout the past couple of days because I don't, I don't know the first thing about furnace maintenance, furnace fixing furnaces and installing copper line, but sometimes you just gotta rely on the experts. But guys, what I wanna leave you with is perseverance is the key. There's gonna be times where it sucks to be a business owner, but those times are much outweighed by the freedom and flexibility, making your own schedule, and doing your own thing offers. And I was telling one of my friends, dude, I'm about to just go get a job because that the idea of that stable income and not having to worry about things like this, not having to be the one that takes care of it, it's alluring. But at the same time, I'm really happy with having that flexibility, having that freedom. I love being able to do my own thing and making it work for me and then building it up. It's something that I love. So guys, I really wanna stress the importance of perseverance and being solution oriented in your mindset. It's okay to acknowledge the negativity, but always try to think of the next solution you can do to keep the dream alive. Guys, I really appreciate you for watching this little vlog about what's been going on with my heat, what's been going on with my business and me personally. If you like the video, you wanna see more fitness content, you wanna see more business related content, make sure you follow me, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to be alerted on all my new videos. Hit this video with a like just to support the channel. We can grow this thing and I will see you guys back in the next one.